All right, everybody, we are back here at the zoo for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. I finally got my Malak and decided to eventually get around to doing the event guide for the light side. Specifically first, the light side is significantly harder than the dark side. It took me way more attempts to actually get the light side than it did the dark side one. However, before we actually get into the guide, do not forget to check me out on Twitch. I do stream every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday for about three hours. And then I also stream all of the GACs. So come and check me out on Twitch. And now let's go ahead and get into the video. So we are going to go through the footage that I have recorded of the event. Sorry about the fact that I cover a couple of the characters when I'm playing it. I wish I would have realized that before I recorded all of it. And I do not want to go back through and have to redo that event over and over again to try and re-get that same exact footage. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. If you want the general tips that I had for the event, the two biggest ones are going to be kill the droids over and over again just to reduce his um, the stacks that he gives off. And then get as many of the armor shreds from Zalbar onto Malak as possible before you pop the first Jedi. Or before he pops the first Jedi. Let me rephrase that. Um, those are going to be the important parts. The armor shred is going to be the key to doing enough damage to actually get through Malak. And then as he has these stacks right here, those little skull right there. The droids are going to be reducing it by three every time that you kill one of them. And if he gets that to whatever number it is, I cannot remember off the top of my head. He's going to go into an enrage and he's going to destroy you. So kill the droids to help keep that down. The first one that you're going to want to get into is going to be um, kill the crit avoidance one first. Or have him pop the crit avoidance one first. All of the other three, you are going to want to destroy yourselves. Um, I personally liked doing... Getting all of them low. And then went for the tenacity first. Just worked my way down. Once they were all a little bit closer. Um, some of the other tips that I had that I didn't notice until I had done it multiple times... Um, the first one is I always like to give Bastila's assist over to Mission to give her the extra buffs. However, when it came to using Jolie's assist, I originally was using it on Mission. Makes sense to me, she's the one with all the damage. However, if you, you if you have the Zeta on Mission, you can use the assist, or wait, yeah, you can use the assist onto Zalbar, and then she assists off of Zalbar's assist. So you can get a little bit of extra damage in from Zalbar hitting first. Um, I also did not use the strategic advantage on Jedi Knight Revan at all. Um, Jolie's basic reduces his cooldowns. So you can also use his um, the strategic advantage to... Assist between uh, Jolie and Bastila to help reduce the cooldowns on your Jolie and get more assists off so you can put out more damage. I liked using it on Bastila over Jedi Knight Revan rather than switching back and forth because I thought that doing it on Bastila allowed for the buff immunity or the uh, ability blocks, which can actually be really helpful on the droids so they can't use their um, abilities and then regain some of that health and protection back when they get tankier um this event i believe when i did this playthrough i only got like three stacks of armor shred i would recommend shooting for more than that i messed up slightly i still managed to get it but this is the run that i managed to get it with um i could probably could have done better i'll sh show the gear levels again but i had no relics on this team and everybody's pretty much undergeared. Um, most people are gear 12, I think, except for Zalbar. G mission, I really did not want to. The Zeta helps out a lot for this event with the mission. She is your main source of damage for this event. Um, however, getting her to gear 12 was what got me the event. I was trying it with gear 11 first, 
and it just was not working the way I wanted it to. When I geared 12 to her, it only took a few attempts after that for me to actually get the event. So those were like the major ones that I noticed that helped with this event so much. Um, it takes a lot of patience to get through this event. If you take your time, it makes things significantly easier. Do not try to rush this event. Um, one of the other tips that I also just thought about, avoid using the assist on Jedi Knight Revan. If you use the assist on Jedi Knight Revan while Malak is, like you don't want to be hitting Malak, then he's going to taunt and now you're forced to hit him. When he goes below, I want to say it was half health, he's going to proc whatever lowest health Jedi is left. And since you only want him to get the crit avoidance one, if you do it too much, it's not going to be good. Should be right there. Yep. Once you hit that, he procs that. After this, every one of these, I kill myself. So this is sort of a good idea of, okay, this is what it looks like to actually beat the event through this playthrough. It took me a decent chunk. I did not keep track of this one like I did the gas event. However, it was nowhere near the 615 attempts that it took me to get gas. The only thing I was not big on the event is it's fun, but it does take a hot minute if you don't win. You can take this a long time. At least with gas, you knew pretty quickly if the event like that run playthrough is just over with. So takes longer per event but it was a very very fun event to play through i definitely enjoyed it and i definitely enjoyed it a lot more than i did gas gas was way too much of an rng fest this one was slightly because i was trying to under gear it however it was not nearly as bad and it required a lot more strategy to actually think things through so i really really like this one as you can see during this i'm rotating through them i have all of them like getting lower and I'm about to go through and just break all three of them in a row and then start concentrating on to Malik after all of them are done. No matter what happens, make sure your Zalbar does not die through these events. His armor shred is going to be the part that makes or break it. So do your best to not let him die. Use Jolie's heal if you have to, but always shoot for the assist. Um, once you hit that crit avoidance though as well, this playthrough I did not do it ideally. Your armor shred is not going to stack because he does require crits to do that. Once he gets the crit avoidance, he's not going to be able to be armor shredded anymore. So once you do that, just go ahead and focus down the uh, other Jedi. But I would definitely recommend shooting for more than just the three armor shreds that I did for this event. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment down in the, like, not description, comment down in the comments below. If I can actually talk today, that would be awesome. All right, I'm going to let the last little bit of this video just play through. And we can just talk at the end of it. And I hope this video helps you guys. This is a lot of fun for this event.
And until next time, I will see you guys all later. Again, don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday for about three hours. And until next time, the zoo's closing down for the night.